This video covers some of the basic steps for installing the Graco Contender 65 convertible car seat. We'll go over how to install the seat both rear and forward facing, with latch and with your vehicle seat belt. Before installing your car seat, please refer to your car seat manual and your vehicle manual for complete instructions and information. To install Contender 65 rear facing using latch or lower anchors and tether for children, please ensure your vehicle is equipped with latch lower anchor points, which may be visible at the vehicle seat crease. If they're not visible, they may be marked with a car seat symbol or a red dot. Consult your vehicle manufacturer's manual and car seat instruction manual for latch usage and weight guidelines. Make sure your vehicle is on level ground and that the reclined flip foot beneath your car seat is in the rear facing position. You will not use the tether in the rear facing position, so make sure it's stored securely. The latch belt must be routed through the opening in the child restraint marked as rear facing with a blue label. If it isn't, pull the latch belt out of the forward facing belt path opening so that the latch hooks end up on the same side of the car seat. Slide the latch belt along the bar to the rear facing belt path opening. Unclip the seat pad from the front of the car seat. Then feed the latch hook with the gray button on it back through the rear facing belt path opening, making sure to route the latch belt in between the buckle slots. The belt should be flat and not twisted. Replace the seat pad fabric on the front of the seat. Then check to see that the reclined flip foot is in the rear facing position. Place the car seat in a rear facing position onto the vehicle seat. To make installation easier, extend the latch belt to its maximum length. Attach the latch connectors to the vehicle lower anchors. The belt must lie flat and not be twisted. Pull the connectors to make sure they are securely attached to the anchor points. Press down firmly on the car seat while pulling on the tail of the latch belt to tighten. To check the seat for secure installation, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path. The car seat should not move more than one inch side to side or front to back. If it does, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. With your vehicle still on level ground, check the level indicator on the bottom of the seat. The ball must be entirely in the blue area. The rear facing position is designed for a child from five to 40 pounds. Place your child in the car seat with the harness straps over your child's shoulders. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just below the child's shoulders. Insert the tongues into the buckle and pull up on the tongues to be sure they're locked. Close the chest clip and tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then position the chest clip at armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if properly fastened. If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go. To install Contender 65 rear facing using your vehicle seat belt, first make sure that the latch belt is stored. Then check to see that the reclined flip foot is in the rear facing position. You will not use the tether in the rear facing position, so make sure it's stored securely. Consult your vehicle owner's manual to make sure you install the car seat correctly for the type of seat belt in your car. Place the car seat in the rear facing position on your vehicle's back seat. Thread the vehicle seat belt through the rear facing openings under the seat pad and belt buckle. Be sure to route the vehicle seat belt in between the harness buckle slot. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle seat cushion while tightening the vehicle seat belt. To test the seat to make sure it's secure, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path. The car seat should not move side to side or front to back more than one inch. 
If it does move more than one inch, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. Make sure your car is on level ground and check the level indicator on the bottom of the seat. The ball must be entirely in the blue area. The rear facing position is designed for a child from five to 40 pounds. Place your child in the car seat with the harness straps over your child's shoulders. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just below the child's shoulders. Insert the tongues into the buckle and pull up on the tongues to be sure they're locked. Close the chest clip and tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then position the chest clip at armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if properly fastened. If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go. Now we'll go over how to install Contender 65 in forward-facing mode using latch. Please ensure your vehicle is equipped with latch lower anchor points and consult your vehicle manufacturer's manual for latch usage and weight guidelines. First, make sure that the recline flip foot is in the forward-facing position. Unhook the tether from the tether storage and place the car seat firmly on the back seat of your car facing the front seat of the vehicle. Make sure that the latch belt is routed through the opening in the car seat marked as forward facing with an orange label. If it isn't, pull the latch belt out of the rear facing belt path opening so that the latch hooks end up on the same side of the child restraint. Slide the latch belt along the bar to the forward facing belt path opening marked with an orange label. Feed the latch hook with a gray button on it through the forward-facing belt path opening, ensuring that the belt is flat and not twisted. To make installation easier, extend the latch belt to its maximum length and attach the latch connectors to the vehicle's lower anchors so that the belt is flat and not twisted. Pull the connectors to be sure they're securely attached. Slide the car seat back until it's in contact with the vehicle seat back. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle seat cushion while tightening the latch belt by pulling on the tail of the latch belt. Hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path to check for secure installation. The car seat shouldn't move more than one inch in any direction. If it does, tighten the seat further and retest until it moves less than one inch. Now attach the tether strap hook to the anchor hardware behind and above the car seat onto your vehicle seat. Tighten the adjustment belt to remove any slack and make sure that the belt lays flat and isn't twisted. The forward facing position is for children who are between 20 and 65 pounds. Place your child in the car seat. To adjust the harness height, squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just above the child's shoulders. Connect the buckle. And the harness clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug and adjust the harness clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness straps if properly fastened. Now we'll go over how to install Contender 65 in forward-facing mode using your vehicle seat belt. Be sure to check your vehicle owner's manual to make sure you install the car seat correctly for the type of seat belts in your car. Store the latch belt. Unhook the tether from the tether storage and make sure that the recline flip foot is in the forward-facing position. Place the car seat onto your vehicle's back seat facing forward. Thread the vehicle seat belt through the forward facing openings and buckle the belt. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle seat cushion while tightening the vehicle seat belt. Hold the seat and pull front to back and side to side at the belt path to check for secure installation. You'll know it's secure when you can't move it more than one inch in any direction. 
If it does move more than one inch, retighten and test again until it moves less than one inch. Now attach the tether strap hook to the anchor hardware on the vehicle seat back and tighten the adjustment belt to remove any slack, making sure that the belt lays flat and isn't twisted. The forward facing position is for children who are between 20 and 65 pounds. Place your child in the car seat. To adjust the harness height, squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just above the child's shoulders. Connect the buckle and the harness clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug and adjust the harness clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness straps if properly fastened. To provide the most secure installation of Contender 65, read the vehicle owner's manual regarding child restraint installation and seatbelt use with child restraint. Follow all instruction labels on the vehicle seatbelt and child restraint. If the child restraint is not held securely after following instructions in the instruction manual, vehicle seatbelt labels, and vehicle owner's manual, move the child restraint to another seating location and try again. Or you can visit the seatcheck.org website to find a child car seat inspection station near you.